Welcome, Munchie, to this video, everyone, in the comments. Heading to Greenville for a few days to meet up with my friend Katie, who just had a baby. And to make it fun, I decided not to decide what I eat the entire time. I'm going to let the employees decide what I eat for 72 hours. I had a pit stop in Henderson, Georgia, where I found hula hands. Probably a chain restaurant, like an Applebee's. They had a nice little outdoor patio where I could bring Munchie. The first thing we got was some water, but that wasn't up to the employees, that was up to her, right? You want some water? Thank you so much. So the server there recommended her favorite sandwich. You were to pick one thing that's like your favorite thing, I want that. Then you want the Brentwood. The Brentwood chicken sandwich. And she liked it fried instead of grilled. So I got myself a big honking deep fried chicken sandwich. There it is. I wouldn't have ordered it, but I'm glad that I got it. I eat it, and I'm feeling like I want something to eat like right now. Maybe that's your lunch. I'm winning this right now. Hey, Wuhan. Tasty. One more bite on camera without it. Evidence I liked it. A few more hours of driving, got to the hotel, where they happened to have a, a complimentary happy hour. So I had to ask the bartender what she normally drank. If you were to come here and order something, what would you provide? So she made me a concoction that she happened to be drinking behind the bar. That's what I have right now. Did I just oust her? <laughs> what is it? I made it up. It's okay, I won't say what hotel I'm at. She mixed up a tequila drink with apple juice, a little strawberry puree, coconut water, pineapple juice, now that's good. The way to do this, live in life by getting what other people that are working in the field want. Exactly. It doesn't taste like it has any alcohol in it. That's because of the apple juice. It's working. I don't know about these. I have two. Mother recommended I come over here to the snack bar. She was so enthralled, she came out with another one of her favorite drinks, a bourbon sweet tea. This one is gonna be a little bit more stout than the other one. You're gonna definitely taste the bourbon. I'm in South Carolina, so it makes sense. Refreshing, strong. Either gonna be really good or really bad. And I didn't need to drink anymore. But Katie was on her way, so luckily bourbon is her favorite drink. So she got to try. How's it look? The most beautiful postpartum thing I've ever seen. Out and drinking. Cheers, my love, my friend. She also got to meet Munchie for the first time. Everybody, this is Katie. She just had a baby. She's meeting my baby. So from there, we went to the rooftop bar. Hey, Katie, we should ask them what they recommend. What's your favorite drink? That's what I want. I'll just make some for you. The bartender made me something he called an Italian version of a French 75. You got recommended a beer, I got a cocktail. It's like burnt coffee. What they recommend is not bad. Then we ended up at Roots Chris, where I ordered what was recommended. Listen to this guy spiel. If you were to pick something on the menu that you would eat, what would you order? So I'm a ribeye guy through and through. All that marbling content equates to the most flavor. So I'll go to the cowboy ribeye. I like to do that Oscar style. That's gonna be lovely crab meat, grilled asparagus and bernet sauce on top and just a loaded baked potato on the side. I'm gonna have to order that. I wasn't sure if he was just selling me the most expensive thing or if he really loved it. And then it was served to me. Is it great? Hands down. I've never ordered it Oscar style. I would do it again. Thank you, Ruth Chris. I loved it so much, I had to eat all of the meat off the bone. Here's a time lapse. On to day two. There is a complimentary breakfast, but I couldn't pick what I wanted to eat, so I head to the omelet bar. Make me an omelet of like whatever you would normally eat. Yeah. I like bacon, onions, tomatoes, spinach, cheese. So she made me up an omelet her favorite style. Veggies, extra cheese. So what would you normally eat with it? I'll probably get some hash browns. Piece of toast. It's a brew. Breakfast by it's Tiffany. Different. Check out this cheese pull. I wouldn't have ordered this. I would have tried to be healthy and get it like an egg white omelet. Let's go for a walk, see what we can find in Greenville, South Carolina. On the walk, I walked right by this candy shop and I had to get in there. And I asked for two recommendations from two employees because your girl has a sweet tooth. What do you recommend that I try? Dark uh, sea salt homies. Can I have one? Not the good. This looks so good. You can totally tell they make these in here. I ended up getting this dark chocolate sea salt lager head. Never heard of it, but I guess it's some type of iteration of a praline. Chocolate, caramel, almonds on there. That's delicious. I gotta go find some more local spots. 
From there, I ended up at Cantina 76. What do you recommend that you like? I know this sounds bad, but I'm like a beer and a shot kind of girl. That's what I need to have. Okay. So she instructed me exactly how she drank it. Sip the Coke, take the Jack Fire, and sip the Coke again. Back at college. So drink the entire thing. Like check it. I've done this in a long time since college. <laughs> Here you go, internet. Gross. Actually, I like the soda part. See, it's good. I have this. Cheers. Now I got a little buzz on. I'm sure that this is gonna help me get a little hungry along the way. End up going to another Mexican restaurant. If you were to make a drink right now, that's your favorite drink here. Give you the Texas margarita. They got a little house tequila. We have like shot of drum margarita. I'd love it. Okay. So I got a salted rim topped with a shot of Grand Marnier. That's what I will order. Cheers to you. Kind of gives like a little orange punch. Ooh, margarita. It's 5 p.m. when the restaurant that I really wanted to go is open. Oku, a new restaurant to Greenville, quite possibly a chain. What would be the thing on the menu that you would order for yourself? Oh, I like the big coriander old fashions. Big ice cube. That's how you know how much alcohol is actually in it. That and the new sake tini. Here it is, the sake tini. This is too good, seriously. My favorite bowl is the Reedy River. It's got torched salmon on the top, and it has a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of spice from the kimchi sauce. The oyster mushrooms are definitely like my absolute favorite. Like if I were vegan, that would be like my meat alternative. It's not healthy for you, but it's healthy. These were decadent, delicious, and actually kind of expensive. Now I'm full and I'm ready for bed. On to the next day. So I woke up and I wanted to go for a long walk. So I ended up at Starbucks. Can I order a tall of like whatever your favorite drink is? I get like this frozen strawberry lemonade type of drink. Would that be okay? That's your favorite. It is my favorite, yeah. And that again was something I would never ever order. I just drink black coffee. This is what the staff at Starbucks likes. Strawberry lemonade made like a frappuccino with some vanilla powder in it. This is delicious. Instead of caffeine, I've got sugar. I'll still be running around in circles. This will also cover me until lunch. Totally enough to hold me off until lunch. But I kept walking and I ran into Sully Steamer, a famous bagel spot that is known for steaming their bagels. Not toasting, not baking, not frying. I couldn't help myself. And I wanted to just get whatever your favorite sandwich is here. I'm gonna go with the Griswold. It's our best selling across the whole menu. It's and one of the best sandwiches we've got. It's my favorite, yeah. And whatever type of bagel you like. You're good with an Asiago cheese. It'll just sit right in there like that. And then every 15 seconds, this thing lets out a little bit of water. As recommended. It's so cheesy, it's got sauces, it's buoyant, bouncy. Mm. The steamer is not just for your laundry, guys. It's for your bagels. Greenville's food's so good. This is a bomb sandwich. Now I'm full and satisfied. Reel it in for lunch. For lunch, I went to Mark's Grill, a burger joint I walk by every single time I'm on Main Street in Greenville. So if you could make me a drink that you wanted. Uh, the huckleberry lemon drop. Uh, vodka, simple, and lemon juice. I got a sugar on my rim. It's really good, I like it. I cannot taste alcohol. Surprised she didn't give me a milkshake. And for food, what would get? I'm gonna do the all-American. She delivered me the all-American BLT burger, which was a smash burger. Bacon, cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo on a potato bun. Classic smash burger. Wouldn't have ordered this. Probably would have gotten something with egg on it. Reason to come to Mark's. I'm full from the burger, from the drink. I walk right past a little sushi restaurant called Taco Sushi. So if you were gonna order one thing on the menu that's like your favorite, what would it be? Southwest tuna tartare. The tuna tartare comes out with this huge basket of chips. This is what has been recommended. Let's try it. Fresh. Cool concept. I like it. I continue to walk up Main Street where I walk right past Savannah Bee Company, which is known for making mead. It's the oldest form of alcohol on the planet, made from fermented honey, water, and yeast. And you recommend this one? Yeah. The carbonated traditional. I did a little taste test of what is their highest alcohol content, and I loved it. No more eating or drinking for a while. Went over to my friend Katie's place to meet little baby Archer. Look at his little feet. They're banana pajamas. 
so cute. Enough time's gone by now. We have to go to this really cool place called Gather, where they have all of these box cars that have different restaurants inside and end up at this little cantina box car. I had to ask the employee there what she would drink at that moment. If it were me, I would totally pound a shot of beer because I'm an animal. Okay. I'm gonna get what you want. So that's twice in this video. Your girl's taking shots. But this time, Katie joined me, so we had a shot together. I have this. Go Greenville. I'm not even hungry. I ate so much today. Continue to walk around and enjoy Gather for a little bit. Oh, no. Your baby's way less cute. <laughs> <laughs> I even played with the kids on these little toys. Julia. We got to hang out on these really cool lawn chairs and just relax a little bit and catch up we end up going to a sushi restaurant called Otto Izakaya, where we ordered the bartender's favorite dishes. If you were to drink one thing right now, what would it be? Tequila. Her favorite drink is a shot of tequila. Shoot it. You never take a chaser. I usually just take some water. Here we go. And also, if you were to eat one roll, what would it be? Basically. I'd like that. And that was a beautiful way to end the night. I love fire. By far the best sushi I've had in Greenville. I'd like to go back there today. That's so good. It's the mayonnaise. It's always the mayonnaise. Now I'd continue this for another 72 hours, and I probably will oh, as a life lesson for myself, as point of discovery, because this is just so fun and easier than picking things on the menu. I wanna do what you do. Okay. We have to end this video and go on to the next. See you guys next time, another episode of Healthy Junk Food.